Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659, security override and disable the fucking voice response. Access denied. Sarah Irene Whitaker, your security clearance has been revoked. Please see an IT administrator Warning. for Deadly assistance. Force is authorized for use against fucking all trespassers. Warning. Hey, hey, going in that way would have been a death trap anyway. Every gun on the other side of that door is aimed right here. We need a better plan. Oh, yeah, you got one? Uh, well, maybe. Alert. Alert. Uh, like, is there a way to that rooftop from here? Called. Police are Over on here. their way. Stand down and you will not be home. Okay, there's a ledge out here. You should be able to climb up to the roof from that AC unit. I mean, you should be able to climb Alert. up from there. This Listen, I want you to go up there, Multiple lay down suppressing fire, fire, keep their attention here. They're all looking up. I'm gonna go in from here. I'm gonna take them by surprise. <clears throat> okay, yeah, that's a really good plan. But uh, there's uh, there's one problem with it. What's that? The door's locked out, remember? Warning. Deadly force is Shit. Come on, come on, I have an idea. What? Deadly force is authorized. On that reader. Alert! Alert! This is a level four alarm. Wait, what are you doing? Shots have been fired. Yes, security I mean. personnel. Okay, the they locked out security, but they forgot the admin codes. From this station, I can get you a temporary access code. All right, here's your ID code. Ready? Uh, yeah. Your full name and ID 5429009. You got that? Force is authorized for uh, 5429009. Uh, is that right? Is yes, let's go. Alert. Alert. 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. Here, I'm gonna need you to help me up. Alert. Okay, hold on. Alert. This is a level four alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel to the maintenance building. <laughs> Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning. Ready? Yep. <clears throat> you got it? <clears throat> yeah. Wait until I get their attention, then you go in. Hey, don't take any chances. Alert. Alert. 911 has been called. Police okay. are on their way. Go. Stand down and you will not be harmed. Right. Alert. Jimmy Moore! I know you're in there! Answer me, Deacon God Lee, St. John. ID 5429009. What the hell are you doing? Deacon Lee, St. John. Welcome to the Dale Research Park. Facility. She's up there! This is your first Jimmy doesn't have to go down like this! Come on! Get her! Damn it, Jimmy, listen to me! Alert! Alert! 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. Oh, 
Alerts. Alerts. 911 <laughs> has been called. I see you. Stand down and you will not be harmed. Saw Jim go scurrying into the office. Alert! Alert! <sighs> this is a oh, level here. four alarm. Oh, bring it Multiple you. shots have been fired. Security personnel. Hey. Tell me what you want. Okay. All right. He's clean! We were just defending ourselves. Get down there. All the dead people outside, Jim. You know, the ones you shot in the head? I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, what was it, huh? What were they trying to do? Get home to their families, maybe bring them back here. But you didn't want that, did you? We just couldn't take the risk. Get up. What are you doing? I can't. Don't make me. Jim, I'm gonna count to three. No, 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 no. One. You don't understand. Two. Look, don't do this. Three. Open the goddamn door. All right, all right. I hope you know what you're doing. Thank you, Jeff. Yes, we know what we're doing. You don't have to do this. Let me go. I'm sorry. We just can't take the risk. <sighs> Come on. I want to get the hell out of here. should have seen it when it first went in. I mean, we used to grow wild ginger and, and grape root here. And then all of this changed. They sealed everything off. They took away my clearance. God, David kept telling me. He kept telling me that something was wrong. Okay, okay. Who's, who's David? So David Gorman. He was this research intern. You know what I said? I told him that we're a farm and we're... we're high tech and all that shit and that there are billions of dollars at stake and to just leave it alone. Then he didn't listen. He hacked the system, he got behind the firewall, he told me that this was some sort of classified project or something. I don't classified know. project, just he slow wanted, down and... He wanted to be the next Edward Snowden. You see, he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing. David Gorman he exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit. And I didn't listen to him, Deacon. I told him that he was being paranoid. And he must have broken in here and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here. Well, well, I don't understand. What do you mean? I pieced it together myself a little while later. The night that I was stabbed, I, I went to the Cloverdale office in farewell and I went to, to go try and find David, but he was already gone. He'd been gone for two weeks. There was this big green expo in Portland. He must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected and he didn't even know it yet. Oh my God. And two days later, 
Two days later, everybody at that conference was infected, and then they all got on planes and they went home. And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped them. You How don't could you understand. Have it's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. Deacon, I was a part of this. They, they used me. <laughs> Hey, uh, hold on for a second. Uh, the electric fences, how would I turn them off? Uh, the power relays are in a building by the greenhouse is why. Okay, um, it's just that there's a lot of food here, and I was thinking about radioing Boozer, letting him and Ricky know, letting Lost Lake Camp know. Do you think you could load that up? Yeah, sure. Okay, um, I'm gonna be right there. Okay. Burn, you little bastards! I just gotta give me that door. No time, no time. Got it. Boozer, it's, it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp, is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? Yeah, Boozer, it's me. Hey, it is good to hear from you, brother. Good to hear from you, too. Listen, I don't I got a lot of time. Uh, the, the research facility that Sarah used to work at, the one near Iron Butte, the one near the Ripper, you know the one that I'm talking about, right? So listen, there's food here. Lots of food, corn, so tell Ricky, tell Iron Mike, tell him to send someone. Wait, you found her? What, you found Sarah? Yeah, I found her. Booze, man, I found her. That is <laughs> awesome, Dick. When are you bringing her back? What, to Lost Lake? No, I'm not gonna get into that right now. Boozer. Lost Lake Camp, come in. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, Lost Lake, come in. Ricky. Okay, good. Listen up. Uh, D? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Uh, listen, there's a. I don't think we'd hear from you again. Iron Mike said you weren't coming back. Uh, look, I don't have a lot of time. Listen, there's this. Did you find her? Yeah, yeah, I found her. Ricky? I'm glad, Deke. 
you were right. We made it. I'm glad she did, too. Yeah, okay, listen, there's this farm, okay? Uh, there's uh, power, it's got electrical fences. Electric fences, okay. And if you come here, it, ask Boozer. It's where Sarah used to work uh, by Iron Butte. He's gonna know the place. You come over here, you're gonna find food. You're gonna find lots of food. <laughs> okay. Oh, how's he doing? Oh, um, good, good. You'll never believe who Iron Mike made head of security. Are you kidding? <laughs> wow, that's great. Um, <laughs> could you tell... You know what? Listen, I, I gotta go, Ricky. But you know what? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Ah, uh, that thing you said about uh, lighting a candle. I think maybe you were right. I know. Ricky out. Bye, Ricky. St. John, this is Curry. Where are you? One of my men reported that you went through his checkpoint at the Tielsen Pass. Yeah, Captain. Uh, there's a research facility in Iron Butte. It's, um, it's like Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker said, there's an important piece of equipment that she needed. And this was where... And this was the only place that she could get it. She's not answering her radio. The Colonel wants to know why you're not back yet. Tell him, uh, tell him we're on our way. The Colonel wants to speak to you. Did, uh, you talk to him? To Boozer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I told him that you're fine and we're fine and that uh, I had to get moving because we have to try to make it over the pass before the weather turns. What do you think? I don't know. It doesn't look good. But it's worth a try, so, uh... Let's get moving. <laughs> it's clear. Are you gonna come out and eat something? Yeah, just a second. Everything I had is soaking wet. Warm again. Yeah. <clears throat> um, did you want to eat something or? Yeah. Yeah. God, I'm not even hungry. Yeah, never mind. You call me here.
Nope. St. John, come in. This is Corporal St. John. Uh, what's up, Captain? We need you to head back to command. Stat. Meet me at the infirmary. The infirmary? What's wrong? There's been an incident. I'm on my way. Okay, what the hell? Uh, Lieutenant Whitaker, uh, are you there? Sarah? Come in. Sarah? Corporal St. John. Hey, Sarge. Hey, Corporal. See you later. Oh, Corporal. What's happening? Sarge. Go. Go. Hey, what's going on? Captain? Dr. Jimenez has been murdered. What? And the son of a bitch. Jesus Christ, slit his throat from here to Where's here. Where's Taylor? Did, did Taylor see anything? All the narcotics in the camp are gone. Taylor. This one's on me. I assigned him to the infirmary. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying Taylor was a junkie. You knew? It doesn't matter.